All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the chest growth event. And just to let you know, if you're not seeing this event currently in your game, it's gonna be based how long your server's been around. So for example, this one right here has been 15 days now, and I just got it, well, on the 15th day. Which, this isn't a terrible thing if you're not seeing it, because this just means it's gonna be coming your way, and if you want to, you could prepare for it. Now this event is where we can get a whole bunch of divine hammers. This is what we use to upgrade our artifacts inside the game. And this can be an actually good event if you're saving up for it. It can be a little deceiving when you see obtain 2000 points. That doesn't mean you need to open up 2000 chests. The way it works is each chest has its own different score. And just to let you know, the gem one, the pink one, doesn't give any points at all. So don't think you need to save up on those. You get one of those, you can open it up. And for the bronze chest, which we typically get gold out of, those actually will only count as one point. So if you saved up 2,000 of those, that I guess is a situation that you would get 2,000 points. Now the silver ones will give the equipment enhancement stones. These are what we use for upgrading our gear. And then they'll also give the blueprints, which we use to advance our gear. These will actually give 10 points for each one of these chests that we open. The gold ones, however, will give 20 points, and this is where we get the meteoric iron out of them, which we use to go in, kind of upgrade our collectibles. With the pet chest or the green chest, this is where the big points are gonna come from. These things will give you 50 points every time you open one of these, and we typically get pet food out of these, and of course, all of these tend to give us some sort of collectible, or at least puzzle pieces, towards unlocking those collectibles. Now there's actually some good places to go and grab these chests. One of my favorite ones, if you are down to spend money, is the Battle Pass gives a good portion of them. The most obvious place we usually see these is gonna be over in the Events tab under the Dungeon section. This is where that Raid Phantom Island is, where we pretty much just go and battle that to grab these chests. Now I'm only on difficulty 13, and you can see here, we still don't even have a chance of getting these pet ones, but I'm gonna keep on grinding it. But this is a great place to get some of these things. If your luck's really on your side, the mining section of it, we have that lucky cart. Occasionally, you will see those things go through and there's a chance you can get them. But as we know, that lucky cart can be pretty rude to you on what you're gonna get. But the other place we tend to see this a lot is gonna just be from those chapter chests. You go and get to a certain portion of a chapter so many days through, and then you unlock that chest there. And these things are popping up in there left and right. So if you are able to play and push through a bunch of chapters, it's a good way to get some of them. But we can also get them from the guild shop. We can get them from the black market. If you do wanna spend money, you can get them from the pack shop. But like I said, I think if you're gonna spend money, you're probably better off just going over to the battle pass and getting them from there. But you may be asking yourself with this event popping up and how many of these chests you're gonna need to actually hit the milestones on them, what's the point of saving these things up? And the big thing being is for the top 20 players inside the game that do well on this, they'll be getting some of these dark moon golden tickets, which then can be turned into buying these awesome mounts. Given that most players just started the game, it might not be feasible to go and try to save up on these things, but I think saving the gold ones and the green ones you can get by with without really interfering with any of your progress inside the game. I'm sure there's probably a couple other places you can probably find some of these chests from, but just want to let you know how it works. Let me know if you have this event currently going on right now inside your game, and if you want today's codes, take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching, and remember, I picked my butt.